Stations of the Cross in Holy Week. Welcome to this devotion in which we retread the path Jesus took on the way to the cross. There are 14 stations. Five of them will be read on Monday of Holy Week, the second five on Tuesday, and the final four on Wednesday. Each station comprises a short passage of scripture, a short prayer, and a reflection. In these stations, we try and apply the sufferings and journey of Christ to our own lives. The opening prayer. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of his cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, cross you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. We will glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom is our salvation, our life, and resurrection. Amen. Amen. The first station. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. All the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus in order to bring about his death. They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. Pilate said to them, What should I do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? All of them said, Let him be crucified. Then he asked, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he could do nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he flogged Jesus and handed him over to be crucified. The cross is the word through which God has responded to evil in the world. Sometimes it may seem as though God does not react to evil, as if he is silent. And yet God has spoken, he has replied, and his answer is the cross of Christ, a word which is love, mercy, forgiveness. It also reveals a judgment, namely that God, in judging us, loves us. Let us remember this. God judges us by loving us. If I embrace his love, then I am saved. Because God never condemns, he only loves and saves. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The second station. Jesus takes up the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because, because by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. The word of the cross is also the answer which Christians offer in the face of evil. The evil that continues to work in us and around us. Christians must respond to evil with good, taking the cross upon themselves as Jesus did. Lord, through your cross, you bear the suffering and the sin of mankind, including our own. Jesus, 
You accept all this with open arms, bearing on your shoulders our crosses and saying to us, have courage. You do not carry your cross alone. I carry it with you. I have overcome death and I have come to give you hope, to give you life. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Amen. Amen. The third station. Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. My transgressions were bound into a yoke. By the Lord's hand they were fastened together. They weigh on my neck, sapping my strength. The Lord handed me over to those whom I cannot withstand. For these things I weep. My eyes flow with tears, for a comforter is far from me, one to revive my courage. My children are desolate, for the enemy has prevailed. Zion stretches out her hands, but there is no one to comfort her. The Lord has commanded against Jacob that his neighbours should become his foes. Following Jesus does not mean participating in a triumphant procession. It means sharing his merciful love, entering into his great work of mercy for each person and for all mankind. And this forgiveness passes through the cross. Jesus insists on the conditions to be his disciple, to not place anything before love of him, to take up one's own cross and to follow him. Although there are many who want to follow Jesus, especially when there are miracles, Jesus does not want to deceive anyone. Jesus knows well what awaits him in Jerusalem, what the way is that the Father asks him to walk. It is the way of the cross, of the sacrifice of himself for the forgiveness of our sins. Yet, Jesus does not want to complete this work alone. Christ wants to include us also in the mission that the Father has given him. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. The fourth station. Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. What can I say for you? To what compare you, O daughter Jerusalem? To what can I liken you that I may comfort you, O virgin daughter Zion? For vast as the sea is your ruin, who can heal you? All who pass along the way clap their hands at you. They hiss and wag their heads at daughter Jerusalem. Is this the city that was called the perfection of beauty, the joy of all the earth? Cry aloud to the Lord, O wall of daughter Zion. Let tears stream down like a torrent day and night. Give yourself no rest your eyes no respite. In order to enter into this mystery, we need the mother, the mother's hand, that she, Mary, will make us understand how great and humble this mystery is, that she will be the one who accompanies us on this journey. Each one of us must take it, with the mother weeping and on our knees, Lord, you left your mother in our midst, that she might accompany us. May she take care of us and protect us on our journey, in our hearts and in our faith. May she make us disciples like herself, missionaries like herself. May she teach us to go out onto the streets. May she teach us to step outside ourselves. Holy God, holy and strong, 
holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Amen. Amen. The fifth station. Simon of Cyrene is forced to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your, your holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. As they led him away, the soldiers seized a man, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country, and they laid the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Dear friends, the cross of Christ teaches us to be like Simon of Cyrene, who helped Jesus to carry that heavy wood. When we journey without the cross, when we build without the cross, when we profess Christ without the cross, we are not disciples of the Lord, we are worldly. Lord, only in you can we find salvation and redemption. With you, evil, suffering and death do not have the last word, because you give us hope and life. You have transformed the cross from an instrument of hate, defeat and death into a sign of love, victory and life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saviour of the world, by your cross and precious blood, you have redeemed us. Save, Save us and help us, us. We, we humbly, humbly beseech you, O Lord. Grant, Lord, that we who are baptised into the death of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, may continually put to death our evil desires and be buried with him, and that, through the grave and gate of death, we may come to our joyful resurrection, through his merits, who died and was buried and rose again for us, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.